how to make fuel if the world has ended, and more importantly, why would you need it? Your car's a useless metal coffin without gas, the stations are empty, and the roads are silent. But you've got plastic, a barrel, and fire. That's enough to keep you moving. You'll need plastic trash, a metal barrel with a tight lid, a copper or steel tube, water, a clean container, and a healthy disrespect for safety. Step 1. Chop the plastic into small pieces. The more you chop, the faster it melts. Dump it into the barrel, seal the lid, and fit the metal tube into it. Step 2. Run the tube through a bucket of water, then into your clean container. This is your condenser. Science, but ugly. Step 3. Light the fire under the barrel. The heat melts the plastic, releasing flammable vapors. The vapors travel down the tube, cool in the water, and drip into your container as a liquid. That liquid. It's your homemade fuel. Step 4. Filter it through cloth or sand. Remove the big chunks, unless you like your engine coughing to death. Step 5. Test it. Pour a drop on the ground and light it. If it burns, congrats. If it explodes, congrats twice, you just made something way stronger. No gas stations, no oil rigs, just trash heat and desperation. In the apocalypse, your survival runs on garbage. Literally.